which is right from the, the start of the book and before I get into analyzing, I don't know, uh, presidential elections in the US, I, I, I tell the story of, of my father going for a swim um, in, the 19, in the late 1970s in, in Odessa. He came out of the sea and was arrested on the beach. Two men in suits standing over his clothes as he returned from his swim. They ordered him to get dressed quickly, pull his trousers over his wet trunks. On the drive, the trunks were still wet, shrinking, turning cold, leaving a damp patch on his trousers in the back seat. He had to keep them on during the interrogation. There he was, trying to keep up a dignified facade, but all the time the dank trunks made him squirm. It struck him that they had done it on purpose. They were well-versed in this sort of thing, these mid-ranking KGB men, masters of the small-time humiliation, the micro-mind game. Why had they arrested him here, he wondered, in Odessa, and not where he lived in Kiev? Then he realised it, it was August, and they wanted a few days by the seaside. In between interrogations, they would take him to the beach to go swimming themselves. One would sit with him while the other would bathe. On one of their visits to the beach, an artist took out an easel and began to paint the three of them. The colonel and major grew nervous. They were KGB and weren't meant to have their images recorded during an operation. Go have a look at what he's drawing, they ordered their prisoner. He went over and had a look. Now it was his turn to mess with them a little. He's not drawn a good likeness of me, but you're coming out very true to life. 